Hello, I'm Carolyn Weatherson, International Mahapura Yoga Director, and I'd like to show you how to do some fun variations for Kapotasana Pigeon Pose. So we're going to start in Downward Facing Dog. It's my favorite way to get into Kapotasana. So you're going to get a good base with your hands, spread the fingers, lift your hips up and back, and then you're going to lift your right leg up behind you. Bend your knee, draw your knee downward and forward and lay your shin on the mat with your right heel pointing towards your left hip. Now slide that back leg straight back. You wanna make sure your knee isn't pointing forward but it's diagonally outside the line of your hip pointing to the side. And make sure your hips are nice and level. To keep your knees safe, you're going to flex your foot a little bit. And if you want to advance the pose, you never want to drag your foot up because that could torque your knee. So instead, you're going to lift your knee back a little bit as you slide back. Now come on down to your elbows. And if that is comfortable, you can make your way down onto your forehead. And then once you're hips are nice and loose, then you can go into some of the variations of pigeon pose. So you're going to walk your hands up and let's see if you can plant your right hand down on the mat, bend your left knee and grab the top of your left foot with your left hand and then square forward. Now this is plenty. Maybe you can lift higher. Over time you might get your hand to your leg and maybe someday you'll even be able to grab your foot with both hands. Open your chest. Now if you want to try something else, see if you can bend your left elbow so that it points up and then you're going to slide your toes towards the crease of your elbow. This is going to deepen your quadriceps stretch. If you can, you're going to hook your toes into your elbow crease and point your hand up. Now, maybe you can even grab your hand and then lift out. Reach up, let go, and let's try it on the other side. You always want to be balanced. Tuck the toes behind you, release your knee, downward dog. Lift your left leg up behind you. Bend that knee, draw it downward and forward. Lay your shin on the mat. Now slide your back leg straight back. If you want to deepen it, your knee moves back. Foot flexed. Hips level, come on down. If you're all right, reach right out. And then let your hips open for as long as you like. You can stay here for several minutes. And then climb out. Planting your left hand. Bend your right knee, grab your foot. Square forward. Higher. Maybe both hands. Open the chest. And maybe even slide that foot into the elbow. Hook it into the crease. Point your hand up. And grab your hand. Left out. So those are some fun things you can try with Kapotasana. I hope you enjoy. Namaste.